Hello, in this video we are going to solve this exponential problem. We have 5 to the power of t equals t to the power of 6 to 5. We are solving for the value of t that satisfies this equation. Now, I can start by eliminating this t. Why? Because I want all the variables to be probably in the right hand side of this equation and all the numbers I want them to be in the left hand side of this equation. Now, for us to eliminate this t at the exponent, I'm going to multiply this exponent by 1 over t. So I have 5 to the power of t raised to the power of 1 over t. This equals t to the power of 6 to 5. And this is raised to the power of 1 over t. Because I have it here, I need to also do it here. Now, Let's consider this identity a to the power of n raised to the power of n equals a to the power of n times n. So I'm going to multiply this out and I'm also going to multiply this out. So we are going to have 5 to the power of t times 1, that is t divided by t equals t, I've just written that down here, 6 to 5 times 1, that is 6 to 5 divided by t. So from here, t eliminates t. So I'm going to have 5 to the power of t divided by t, that is 1, equals t to the power of 6 to 5 divided by t. Now, I also want to eliminate this 6 to 5 here. Like I said earlier on, I want only the variables to be here in the right hand side and the numbers to be here in the left hand side. So let's eliminate this. And for us to achieve that, we multiply the exponent by 1 over 6 to 5. I have 5 to the power of 1 equals t to the power of 6 to 5 divided by t. This is raised to the power of 1 over 6 to 5. And because I have done it here, this also is raised to the power of 1 over 6 to 5. So this brings us to the same identity. a power n to the power of n equals a power n times n. So we multiply this out. And we multiply this out. That means you are simply going to have this is 5 to the power of 1 times 1 over 6 to 5. This is 1 over 6 to 5. And this equals t to the power of 6 to 5 times 1. This is 6 to 5 divided by t times 6 to 5. This is 6 to 5 t. So right now, 6 to 5 eliminates 6 to 5. So I'm going to have 5 to the power of 1 over 6 to 5 equals t to the power of what we are going to have less t is just 1 over t. So right now the base here is t and what I have here is t and this is 1. The base here is 5 what I have here is 6 to 5 and this is 1. So 1 and 1 are the same just the base and the denominator here that is different. So let's make it to be the same so that we can equate the exponents. For us to achieve that, we make use of equivalent fractions. I can decide to write this as 5 to the power of 1 times 1 over 6 to 5. And this equals t to the power of 1 over t. The reason I'm having this one here is because I can replace that one with 5 over 5. By using this 5 over 5, I will ensure to make the base here to be the same, just like this one here, so that it will correspond to this and this. So we are going to replace this one here with 5 over 5. I have 5 to the power of 5 divided by 5. This is the 1 times 1 over 6 to 5. And this equals t to the power of 1 over t. So from here, 
I can multiply this out 5 times 1, that is 5. I have 5 to the power of 5. If I have 5 times 6 to 5, 3, 1, 2, 5. And this equals t to the power of 1 over t. Now, remember, if you have a to the power of n over n, this is just like writing a to the power of n or to the power of 1 over n. Because if you multiply n times 1, you have n over m, right? So because of that, we can apply that identity right here. I can have 5 to the power of 5 raised to the power of 1 over 3, 1, 2, 5. And this equals t to the power of 1 over t. So let's find the value of 5 power of 5. 5 to the power of 5 equals 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. This is 25, 1 to 5, 6 to 5, 3, 1 to 5. So this is giving us what we have here. So you have 3, 1, 2, 5 raised to the power of 1 over 3, 1, 2, 5 equals t to the power of 1 over t. So at this point, this and this are the same. This t and this t are the same. The one is the same ultra. So if you have a to the power of 1 over a, and this equals b to the power of 1 over b, that means I can have 1 over a equals 1 over b. And if that is the case, I can just cross multiply. A times 1, that is A, and B times 1, that is B. That means A equals B. So we apply the same identity just here. We equate this. I have 1 divided by 3, 1, 2, 5 equals 1 divided by T. I cross multiply. Then I have T times 1. That is t equals 3, 1, 2, 5 times 1. That is 3, 1, 2, 5. So this has become our answer. Now, the next thing we are going to do will be to substitute this value back into this equation. And let's confirm. I have this. And t equals 3, 1, 2, 5. And the question is, 5 power t equals t power 6 to 5. Let's substitute this for t. I have 5 power 3, 1, 2, 5 equals 3, 1, 2, 5 power 6 to 5. Now, what am I going to do? I have 5 power 3, 1, 2, 5 equals 3, 1, 2, 5, like what we did earlier on, is 5 to the power of 5. And this is raised to the power of 6 to 5. So going by this identity of multiplying the exponents, we are going to have 5 to the power of 3, 1, 2, 5. And this equals 5 to the power of 5 times 6 to 5. So, from here you can have your 5, that is 5 to the power of 3, 1, 2, 5, equals 5 to the power of 5 times 6 to 5, will definitely give you 3, 1, 2, 5. So the left hand side equals the right hand side. That has become our answer and that has proven to be correct. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.